What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Uh, it's your man Chris B, aka Buzz. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to uh, talk to y'all today about uh, a forgotten thing that I think is going on in our society today, and that is the good versus evil battle. You know, it's been going on, I guess, since the beginning of time, or. Lord knows how long that this battle has been going on. But it seems like there's a, a lot of satanic energy in the world today. It seems like, you know, people are feeding off satanic energy. So much so to where you have people that start cults, satanic cults. And we have a satanic church. You know, it's just a lot of satanic things. And uh, I was on YouTube. I'm just strolling through and uh, I've seen this video and I thought it was real interesting. You know, some of these people are crazy, really, but they really believe in that satanic energy. Me personally, I believe true evil, they laugh at these Satanists. You know, true evil in my definition is like in the movies where you see death coming, where you see somebody walking and, and stuff is dying behind it. That's pure evil. That's death. That's uh, satanic energy to me, true satanic energy. What these people doing is just more like cult-like things. But the dangerous part is that they believe it. They believe it to be real. They believe it's real. And they do a lot of satanic wicked stuff. But, you know, I just wanted to check this video out with y'all and share it with y'all and see what you thought. We do not sacrifice children. <laughs> the foundation of Satanism is built upon the self and carrying out the devil's work. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hi, my name is Zeke Apollyon, and I am the chapter head for the Satanic Temple, London and UK. Welcome. I think what attracted me most to Satanism was just, I think, how preposterous. <laughs> now, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, my. Oh, my. You, you know, <laughs> A lot of these singers, they're weird looking people. You know what I'm saying? You can already tell right off the top. But these people are out here in society. We got to recognize that. They done a lot of things in the name of hell, Satan. It's crazy. Let's continue. Stress. A lot of stuff that was coming from people who call themselves Christians. These people are extremists. They're religious extremists, you know, that use Christianity to kind of further their extremism. You know, some of these people have blood on their hands. And so I figured if they could do horrible things in the name of Jesus, then I could do wonderful things in the name of Satan. Uh, it's so liberal. See, it's always a justification thing. It's always a justification thing with these people. Oh, because uh, they did terrible things in the name of Jesus. And we can do wonderful things in the name of Satan. That don't even sound right. Well, I mean, there's some truth in what he's saying. They de damn sure did a lot uh, in the name of Christianity, did a lot of wicked stuff in the name of religion, period. That's why I shout out to Killer Priest. He said a long time ago, religion is a prison. I believe you need to be more in touch with our spiritual self than our religious self, in my opinion. You know, I think that's where we went wrong. We lost our spiritual connection with God in favor of a religious connection. And that's why I think the uh, we started to go downhill as a society, in my opinion. Let's proceed. Liberating. It is so liberating. I don't think I've ever felt as in my own skin as I do as a Satanist because oh. 
I mean, part of it is looking at like ugly sides of yourself and being able to sort of recon reconcile that and looking at ugly sides of humanity. No, no, um, you know, I don't want to catch anything and I'm pretty sure other people don't either. People get in touch with us and we just have a conversation. You know, a lot of times what people want is community. You know, a lot of people feel like outsiders and so they come to us because they're looking for people that are accepting. They do not come around anymore. They do not come around anymore. They came over one time when we were having a big ritual and they must have seen it on my face or something because I opened the door to come out to get something and they were walking up the path and I was just like, no. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Ooh, wee. You want that guy babysitting your kids? In the name of Satan. Oh my. That's why I say, you know. I mean, now uh, in terms of Jehovah Witnesses, I have a uh, uh, close the door too on some Jehovah Witnesses, but sometimes I, I bring them in and question them too. You know, certain times you gotta ask them certain questions that dumbfound them. But these Satanists are real, y'all. Pay attention. Oh, and they just turned around and left. And I haven't seen them since. We still live in a time when people who are Satanists have to live incognito. Um, but I think in terms of misconceptions about Satanists, I think, you know, people think that we sacrifice babies, that we are engaged in some kind of like, you know, underground sex trafficking. And I mean, mm -hmm. I've definitely met some babies that I haven't really gotten on with very well, but I've never actually killed one. There's a little girl in the window right there. Now, a lot of people in the comments in this video was paying attention to this part of it and I'm like, that sound real weird. There's a little girl in the window. And you blow a kiss to her and stuff like that. You know, the power of the children is real powerful in satanic life. As in on the other side for good, but Satanists really thrive off the energy of our young and children. The younger, the better. They really believe in that demonic energy that they can get from doing harm to children. We need to pay attention to that because that goes a lot to what goes on with these sex trafficking rings and these child trafficking rings. You know, I hate to say it, but the, you know, the world is wicked. The world is definitely wicked. We live in some wicked times right now. You know, with everybody talking about things that's going on politically, I thought I would talk to y'all about the, what's going on spiritually too. You know, Jay-Z told us before, there's no church in the wild. I think, <laughs> I think we need to believe him on that one. Because a lot of people are definitely losing their religion now, as well as their spirituality. So where we go from there, who knows? Satanism, it's been a philosophy or a way of life for people for a very long time. For me, long time. Satanism is really about not letting myself off the hook, you know? And, and I believe, for me, that being a Satanist is about trying to continually advocate for people, especially people who aren't able to advocate for themselves. You could definitely go much worse than to use those things as your way to kind of move forward. Every day. In fact, somebody is probably right now asking us to put them in touch with the devil. People ask for riches. They ask if we can allow them access to the Illuminati. Yeah, the need to be closer to the devil. <laughs> and that's what these people use as motivation to join their cult, and join their society. They use that. They use people's desire to be belong, desire to be a part of something, you know? And if nine times out of 10, if it's not for good, it's for evil. 
Illuminati. Some of the weirdest interactions are people who like send us satanic prayers. People will sometimes ask us to pass on messages to the devil. And I'm like, we're not the devil's answering service. <laughs> I wish. Look how he, he ooh, look at how he got a thrill out of that one and they asked that question. They love that weird cult sex shit. They really do. That gives off demonic energy too. And I'm not talking about, you know, like threesome or something like that. I'm talking about big 10, 15, 20 people, sex orgies type stuff. Some Sodom and Gomorrah type stuff. That's what these people really get off on. The romantic side to Satanism, y'all. <laughs> Ooh. Satanism is a love affair with the self. Actually, I think one of the things that the Satanic Temple wants to do is actually sponsor an orgy. We do. But like we would be there as people who would fold the towels and we would uh, make sure that there was enough like condoms and lube and we would like provide sex education. You know, a lot of us are trained. Um, some of us are medics. Um, and what we would do is facilitate what would be like a safe consensual group sex practice for people and it would benefit something. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You know, it's just wild out here these days, y'all. It's just wild. I just wanted to let's give y'all a glimpse I'm pretty sure some of y'all that, uh, that scroll through YouTube have seen some of these videos before, but it's, this just goes to highlight and point out what some of these people are up to. And people actually follow them, fund them, have an agenda for them, for that desire to be with the devil, basically, when you want to be a, a saint. But it's some crazy times we living in, y'all. I just wanted to bring this to you and let you see on a spiritual level what is going on, what we're facing, what we're up against, not only in the political realm, not only in the social justice realm, but definitely in the spiritual realm. We are facing the battle. And what side do you want to be on? You know? I think me personally, I want to be on God's side. For sure. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. You know, like and subscribe to the channel to holla at your boy. We'll be sharing more videos. I'll get back with you. Peace.